Moira Honeyman has asked what will happen to the NHS and of course the NHS is a currently devolved function. Essentially back in 1997 when we voted in the referendum to establish the Scottish Parliament we voted for essentially for independence for the NHS because we've got in the Scottish Parliament full control over the decisions about the NHS so we'll take there's no way a Scottish Parliament would take a decision to privatise the NHS in the way that's now happening south of the border but the one control we don't have is that we don't have control over our finances and as the NHS is privatised south of the border so that will erode the amount of money that's available to support the NHS within Scotland so although the UK government can no longer decide to privatise the NHS in Scotland, they can undermine the amount of money we're able to put into it by privatising the NHS south of the border. So the real danger for the people of Scotland and our cherished National Health Service is if we don't have the ability to set our budget, to control our finances and to make sure that we are able to design a future for the National Health Service which we can properly support financially. So independence gives us control over our budget and that allows us to secure the future of the National Health Service.